What's up guys, hope you had a great week. We're back with another video. Hope you enjoyed the red-headed video last week. That was a lot of fun to produce. It's always fun to show you guys new snakes. And uh, we're gonna do another reveal next week of some really, actually I'm almost more excited to show you these next ones. They're the craziest clowns I've ever made. Really, they're just so weird and so crazy. I can't wait to show them to you. Um, but this week, I thought it'd be fun to go back and look at some of the um, cool snakes we've made throughout the season for the last six months or so. Basically, the snakes we featured in our videos. And then go back and update you guys. I almost always get requests in the comments for updates on the snakes we've shown in the past. So let's do, there's about eight or nine of them. Let's show all the really cool snakes and how they look now that they've grown up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start over here with our we call these our yearling racks. We have this little corner here. We put basically our holdback animals um, for the season. And we're gonna start on this side with the super red striped clown. Let's find that snake. Super red striped clown. So this girl has been doing really well. You see she has some really decent size on her now. And it's just as beautiful as when she was a baby. Really extremely happy with how well she's improved over time. Really, really, really rusty. Great, almost like a barbed wire top. Beautiful. So look forward to making some of these and more combos here, um, hopefully very shortly. The next one is the Orange Dream Leopard Ivory Clown. And it was the, actually the first ivory I ever made. And then to have leopard give it so much color. And then this is Orange Dream as well because it came from a super orange dream. And this is a girl as well, turned out phenomenal. 100% het pied. We'll be making some really awesome clowns with her down the road. Next one is the Orange Dream Yellow Belly Special Spot Nose Clown. What an amazing combo this one turned out to be. The absolutely crazy flames. And with size, those orange um, cracks on the top has really opened up even more. Such a clean head, an amazing clean combo. We actually made two of these. I think we showed them both in the video. This one is the female, and the male has got some great size on them too. Hope to make some more crazy stuff with this soon. So here we have the labyrinth. This is like the one that, I don't know how to describe it except for a honeycomb pattern. A lot of you guys said labyrinth or, or a maze. This is the leopard blackhead confusion yellow belly lavender. And this thing blew me away. Who would have thought the pattern could come out this crazy? It's like a labyrinth, a puzzle, a honeycomb, you name it, turned out wild. And the cool thing about it is the lavender color is already really coming in. The white is not as stark as it used to be. Um, it's turning almost like more of a, uh, a pale color. And that's just a step towards in about a year, the purple's coming in really strong. We're looking forward to seeing more of this animal. All right, here she is. Here she is, the star of the best mutation in Ball Python's video, the Desert Ghost. O-D-Y-V and she cryptic Desert Ghost. This amazing girl we got from Lee Hingle, and she is absolutely phenomenal and growing very fast. You see she's quite a chunk, has been really eating well. It's a great example of what pure cryptic looks like. Which is basically crazy banding, almost a puzzling pattern, and then the face is an arrowhead with almost all the pattern filled in on the side of the face. A lot of times they have a little black teardrop under the eye, but almost completely filled in pattern. This is one of my favorite snakes of the year. Paid good money for her, thanks Lee. So happy to have her. Beautiful animal. Here it is, Super Chocolate Clown. Never forget my reaction when I first saw this guy in the egg. Absolutely wild. What a crazy experience it was to hatch this and see how good the Super Chocolate Clown ended up being. Even though we decided we couldn't make a Dark Knight version, there was an awesome Dark Knight in the clutch, and this boy really took the cake. Just absolutely wicked. It's definitely melting. Definitely melting chocolate. That's the greatest part about it. It is just, just uh, almost liquid looking. So the next one is the Batman Grail and the Spot Nose Grail. And they are really coming along amazing. Let's look at them here. Go. All right, Batman Grail is looking as phenomenal as ever. The cool thing about it is there's almost these little reflective scales that have popped up all over. You see in the back of the head and the sides and they look like 
like they're reflecting the light a little different than all the rest of the scales and it gives it a really cool kind of depth to the pattern. This girl's eating amazing and the color's really coming in extremely well on her. Granted, bright orange belly, just solid orange. Love this animal. Now without the leopard, the spot nose version is not as deep in orange, but is absolutely wicked pattern. Almost looks nothing like a clown. Very lots of ton of banding. That really cool spot nose clown head that we all know and love. This pair is coming along just phenomenally. Okay, that's just a quick rundown on some of the snakes that we showed earlier in the year, but haven't updated you on recently. Um, they all looking really good. But now we wanna show you one that we teased. We did a little egg cutting video about two weeks ago for our first midweek video, and it was the OD Enchi Dreamsicle. Well, that girl is shut out now. She's had her first meal and is absolutely crazy. We'll look at her before we end this video. Tell me what you think in the comments. So here she is, the or Orange Dream Enchi Dreamsicle. Look at all the purple spots coming in all over her. Extremely low white, just like I like them. Really, really love this snake. Phenomenal. And then she had two crazy siblings. First one was ODYB Enchi Pied. Um, ODYB Enchi Pied Het Lavender. And check this guy out. He's got just a whole ton of little smiley faces on him. One, two, we'll flip them around here. Three, four, uh, maybe that's it. Four smiley faces though on one snake. That got be a new record. Really happy with that. And then last sibling was the Orange Dream Enchi Yellow Belly Lavender Het Pied. And look at the spots and the color all over that. Just pink and purple coming in all over this snake. Absolutely wicked. So cool clutch. I'm really excited to update you on these guys. Um, appreciate you joining me and checking out the updates on all these awesome snakes. All right, guys, that's it. That's that Inchy Dream Sickle craziness. Some awesome stuff to do with Lavender and Inchy still. Before we finish this video, though, we have a couple clutches we're gonna show you. We got a new rack from Freedom Breeder. Chase is gonna put that thing together. Um, we have some footage from that. And then we have a really cool clutch cutting, a special Inchy Yellow Belly Clown in this clutch. Man, that project is just packed full. Let's look at it. guys this is the third clutch of the 2021 season so you're probably thinking it's not even 2021 yet but how we do it is actually any clutch is laid after november 1st because it'll hatch around january 1st it'll be a 21 21 babies we consider that 2021 clutches so this is the third clutch already of 2021 and it is a pompeii it's a pompeii bred to a pastel inchy stranger head clown Wow, this is her first uh, her first clutch, and it's awesome to see on her on eggs. So we're looking for uh, more Stranger Pompeii stuff, and with Inchi in the mix, how cool would that be? Hey everybody! So new sub adult Freedom Breeder rack came in this week, and I'm going to get it put together. You know how much we love our Freedom Breeder racks, and I'll show you how quick that goes. All right, so real time, that took me probably 10 minutes to put that together. And that's, you know, cutting it from the uh, the pallet, heat tape, everything, you know, full assembly. And she's ready to go in 10 minutes. And that includes the, uh, the awesome pullout drawers. So thanks for watching. All right, guys, awesome clutch here. This is from an orange dream, yellow belly, fire spot nose clown to an inchy clown. So we got a lot of really awesome combos. And the crazy part will just be IDing them really well, figuring that out. So this first one here, I cut it before I accidentally hit the uh, record button too late, but this is a, that's beautiful. It's inchy spot nose clown for sure. I would say it's um, OD as well. OD inchy spot nose clown, gorgeous, amazing. I'm loving all the cool heads I see here. Every one of these is, looks like bright, really colorful heads. A 
Nice. That's a special, that's a special clown combo. So this is a split sire clutch. The other male I had in there was a special yellow belly clown. And uh, this appears to be a special yellow belly clown right there. A really nice special clown. Look at that. Okay. So looks like we got a split sire clutch. Cause that's definitely special. And the first one definitely came from the other male had spot nose. So we'll see if that makes, if that complicates things or it gives us actually even cooler results in the end. Maybe we'll get the best of both worlds if we're lucky. That's gorgeous. Wow. See, I'd say that's, hmm. Well, this may be complicating it. I'd still say a special inchy clown or a special yellow belly inchy clown. That is cool. That head is wild and it is so bright and clean. So bright. Looks like it's, hold on. I'm saying it looks like it's about done. I'm trying to see what part of this nick I'm seeing there. Yeah, it's completely, it's completely absorbed this yoke already. All right, let's let this one, let him out. Wow, look at that head. That's cool. All right, so I'm, I'm pegging this one. Well, I'm not sure. It's a beautiful snake. It's Enchi, obviously. Is it Enchi special or is it Enchi OD? OD fire, maybe. I don't know. It's gorgeous. All right. Let's keep moving on. Let's see what else we can see. Sometimes this is the uh, the challenge when using multiple males is that you hope one of them will sire the clutch, make it easier. You hope it'd be obvious at least. That's a really nice spot nose. That's like, I think that looks like that could like dad to me. So ODYB spot nose, ODYB fire spot nose clown. That's a powerhouse. That looks just like dad. Okay. This one had a really unique head, based on what I saw, like very something that would surprise me. Whoa. Wow. ODYB inchy, ODYB inchy clown or ODYB fire inchy clown. That is, look at that. Whew. Amazing. Sorry, you just hear me, you're just kind of speculating away on these. I, I uh, need to get a good look at them out of the egg. And uh, you're talking about, you know, when it comes to all these enhancer morphs, we have Orange Dream, which enhances the color. Um, fire, wow, that's bright. Wow, fire, which um, enhances the color. Thanks for flipping out my head again. Um, so all these are like shades of enhancement, right? And so you look at it, you're like, how many shades of enhancement would it take? And which ones is it kind of leaning towards in order? This is definitely special. I think, I don't think any way that's not special. Special in GL Billy. That is insanely nice. I love that. Okay, you can get a good look at the head. That one's almost done. It's got a tiny bit of yolk left, but we'll leave them alone. All right, and the last one, the one we haven't seen yet. Oh, that's the most normal looking one in the clutch. It's like a yellow belly clown. Let's see if see the head better. Yeah, really yellow belly clown, I think. All right, guys, well, super excited by this one and this one especially. This one is, is ridiculously amazing, and we'll see it out of the egg, but uh, that one I've seen before, so it's not quite such a surprise. Um, really happy overall, excited.